the perennial permaculture match made in heaven, strawberries and asparagus. This is our fourth time doing this combo. Look at that good composted soil. We had thick, thick wood chips piled here for over a year. Oh, that's gonna be great foundation for our perfect permaculture companion planting. Way back in 2015, I got this brilliant idea. It was born out of a necessity. We had just purchased our first orchard. We had spent over $600 at a local nursery and had tons of trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants we needed to get in the ground. We had purchased a lot of asparagus and strawberries. Those are two of our family's favorite things to eat in the spring. And we definitely prefer organic. And to buy them at the volume my family will eat them, organic was pretty expensive. So we knew that if we grew it ourselves, we could eat as much as we wanted all spring. Shortly after getting them home, I realized I really didn't have space to do rows and rows and rows of strawberries and asparagus. But I started thinking, asparagus grows straight up strawberries grow straight out they don't climb so why couldn't i just plant them in the same space together i was raised on a permaculture homestead with an amazing food forest so these types of things come pretty naturally to me while this growing method wasn't one that my mother had taught me growing up my instincts that she taught me were serving me well i did a few quick google searches and found out that they would be perfect together. Their nutrition, their soil quality, their moisture, and their fertilization levels were all very similar. So I went ahead and did it and it worked beautifully. So last year I had Ryan do a big long trench of them in our front yard food forest. And this year we did two more big long trenches. We planted over 200 strawberries and 150 asparagus this year alone. I am so excited what we're gonna see growing in our food forest in a few years. So once you have your ditch, then you go ahead and you lay your asparagus alternating on either side of the ditch, leaving a little bit of space in between for your strawberries. And then we bury the roots with compost and leave the tips of each of the growing points above the soil line. And then water it all in good. All right, doing a little bit of chaos gardening here. Right on top of the asparagus and strawberries, I am sprinkling some zinnia and wildflower seeds. Yeah, baby, it's gonna be gorgeous. This first year of growth, they're not gonna get very big, so it's perfect to put in some annuals in between while you're waiting. All right. Everything is doing okay. We don't have our soil all the way filled up yet. You can see some plants are not all the way buried yet. Ryan's bringing home more compost today and this trench will be finished getting filled up. We put a layer of zinnia seeds down first so we'll have some pretty flowers. It'll be really nice once this is all asparagus and strawberries just growing alongside our vegetable garden. Oh, I love it. My approach to permaculture has always been what gets along, what does, does well together, what grows in the same types of spaces, and just testing it out, you know, see how it does for you, test it out, experiment, have fun with it. And when you find something that grows as good as strawberries and asparagus, 
make sure you let me know about it because I want to try something that you've discovered that works great for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will be sure to get back to you. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time on the homestead.